Are you trying to find easier ways to get smoother footage that don't cost an arm and a leg? Well, I might have a solution for you today. Hi, my name is Rebecca Meyer, and if you're new to this channel, first let me begin by welcoming you. We predominantly do tech reviews of gizmos and gadgets and things like that. So if you're interested in those things, make sure you hit subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell. Today I'm here with my BFF, Anna. So Anna and I went to the beach today to have a little lunch, and while we were there, we decided to try out a new little gadget. I'd been looking for a slider, but man, those things are extremely expensive. So I came across this uh, cam safe slider. It's uh, basically a dolly car, and um, we'll get into how amazing this little product is. So this is the cam safe slider from Kingjoy and uh, it has a lot of awesome uses and we'll get into that today. So you, you might be asking yourself, well, why do I need a slider? What is a slider? A slider is something that allows you to get some nice smooth footage uh, at, at a constant speed. And it really helps for stability and not getting those up and down motions or that shaky camera. You can basically uh, slap camera on a slider and uh, just push it carefully just to have a nice smooth shot, almost gimbal-like. So Anna and I went to have lunch today at the beach at a fantastic place called Benny's. And while we were there, we decided to uh, try this great uh, little gizmo that uh, will allow you to get some smooth footage when you're trying to use your DSLR or an action cam, even a point and shoot or even your phone. So what makes this little guy amazing is that it offers a constant speed. So when you have your camera mounted to it, it's gonna stay at the same speed, allowing you to get really steady footage. And it absolutely looks amazing when you see it actually moving uh, and it, it definitely helps make the footage look more professional. Now the slider actually comes with two options as far as mounting your camera. It comes with a 1 4th inch screw and then a 3 8th inch screw. So you do have options as far as what type of camera you want to mount to this, be it a, a video camera or if you want to use a DSLR. Uh, you do have options because this does give you um, both in order to use it. Because it has this screw, you're able to attach almost any type of device to it. So if you want to attach your smartphone by using an adapter, or if you want to attach your, uh, your action cam or a DSLR, you do have all of those options with this. In addition to this screw, uh, because it has the option of actually moving this plate we're able to get different types of lenses and things on it so if you do have a very heavy dslr with and you want to be able to change out the lenses you can actually just move this plate in order to uh, make the balance correct so that it, you know it won't tip over or something like that now this little car can support up to 13 pounds uh, and that's pretty significant. So if you do want to use an adapter, I sometimes use a Z adapter. That way I can uh, shift which direction I want the, the camera to be in. And you want to mount a DSLR to it with some heavy lenses, you have that option with this because 13 pounds uh, is pretty significant. Now, when you purchase this, it does actually come with this funky little battery, and I've never actually seen one of these. This is a, a lithium CR2 3.0 volt battery with, uh, with 800 milliamps. Um, the thing about this is that unfortunately it's not rechargeable, so that means you do have to invest in these kind of wacky batteries that won't be that easy to find. I mean, I don't think you can find them in like every store. Um, luckily, Amazon does sell them, so they are easy to get through Amazon. But of course, if you want to be able to just to run out to the store and get one once this dies, um, then uh, yeah, that would be a little bit on the difficult side. Now this battery will last for up to one hour if you're using something uh, heavy like a 13 pound DSLR with you know a heavy lens or something like that. But if you're using it with, um, with your cell phone, then it's going to last up to about 10 hours. But of course, it's all dependent upon the weight that you're using. Now with this battery, you do have the option of, depending how you put this battery in, if you put it in one way, you're gonna get forward motion. If you flip it around and stick it in the other way, you're gonna get backward motion. Now this is able to hold such a heavy device because it's made out of uh, aluminum alloy. So this thing is, uh, this thing is, is rock solid and it's, it's definitely, definitely a, a good product. 
Now, if you're trying to do some macro shots or something like that, and you have a specific uh, item that you want to showcase, you do have the option of actually moving this wheel so you can get a, a curved uh, angle on your, on your shots, which is pretty cool. Now, when you purchase this, it does come with uh, the car itself. It does come with three additional uh, rings. You'll find that these rings do tend to slip off a little bit now and again, especially if you use it a lot. And uh, it also comes with a, with a wrench. That way you can tighten up like the screws and things like that if you want to be able to change the angles. I leave mine kind of loose uh, just so I can easily move it so it's not really that necessary. As far as the cons go with this, as I mentioned before, the battery is, is definitely an issue. Um, it's just an odd battery. It doesn't recharge. So of course you're always going to have to have some on hand if you want to be able to get those slider shots. Another con for this would be, um, I did try this, uh, this slider with, uh, a non stabilizing lens. The DSLR that I use does not have in body stabilization. Uh, so I have to get that stabilization through my lenses. And unfortunately, if I use a lens that does not have stabilization, then, uh, then I do see a little bit of, of movement in there. However, if I switch it over to something that is stabilized, uh, be it a lens, or if I throw it on you know throw an action cam on it like my sony fdr x3000 then it's uh, it's a really smooth smooth view so that pretty much wraps up my review on this uh, slider from kingjoy and uh, if you're interested in seeing more content like this please make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell and thank you so much anna for always helping me out and uh, being my actress and my model and i uh, look forward to doing some more work with you and if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell.